Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and now that our UI, or we are almost set to build this UI, let's go ahead and make this and before we go further, I have created some assets, you don't need them technically but if you want uh, I can provide you a link for that uh, but again I highly recommend to create some of the assets on your own. So these are some of the logos that I have created, I'm a big fan of Ice-T. So I've created a fictitious brand name as Ice-T and I'm gonna try a login for that. And surely you can use any other logo or any other photo that you would like and in the iOS world we uh, design the photos or any assets in 1x, 2x and 3x. So usually most of the default uh, things actually go ahead right easily with that. So I'm gonna go up here and there we go. I'm gonna just drag and drop this Ice-T right up here so that these are automatically available. That's all what we need. In case you want any other logo or anything, I highly recommend to do it on your own. You can use the Learn Code Online logo as well, which is a pretty dope logo. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go into this content view and start writing some code for that. I'm gonna resume this here so that we can see some of the assets directly without even needing the simulator. My simulator is right up here, but we technically don't need it right now. Okay, it's gonna take a moment to build the app, build succeed, and there we go. Hello world is up here, let's shrink that. Okay, looks pretty nice, there we go. Okay, now as I told you, we are going to use the Z stack, and the reason why we want to use the Z stack is because uh, putting anything in the background with a Z stack is actually super simple, whether that's an image or a color, I'll show you that what does that mean in a minute. But right now, what I want to do is I want to modify this text. Instead of the hello world, I want to say as something like welcome. So we're gonna say uh, just welcome, and there we go. Now, these text has a lot of properties that we can play around and some of them is, uh, let's just say we want to have a custom font. We surely can have it, but some of these things are being provided by the iOS as a default. For example, I can just simply say dot large title and it will convert that into the large title. And I don't know why it is not auto resuming, uh, it usually does. So there we go. And it's gonna just bump the font a little bit. There we go. And surely this is not looking the way I want it to be. So I'm gonna bold it a little bit. For that, I'm gonna say font weight, font weight, and I'm gonna say dot semi bold. Let's go for semi bold. There is a bold option as well. That is like too much of the bold stuff. We are also going to have a padding, so dot padding. And as of now, we are gonna go for the default padding, but in case you want to go for more of that, let's just say more components will come up at the bottom, so you can just mention a dot bottom, and then put a comma and mention at that 20, 30, it's almost like arbitrary, it's going to automatically uh, define the value for you. And surely I want to change the color as well, because my logo is of little bit orangish. Uh, I'm gonna use a direct foreground color, that is gonna be color dot orange. Now, surely some people don't like to use the system default color, that is also totally fine. And you can use your own uh, colors as well. Okay, now I know that this text is actually awesome, but it is gonna consume a lot of space right up here. So what I'll do is I'll just select all of it, right click and show the code action, and I want to just extract it to a sub view. And once it is done, I'm gonna just say it, this is a welcome text and hit enter. So there we go, so that my this stack actually remains easily and clean here. Now after that, I want to design an image or I want to put an image here as well. For that, the simply thing I can do is use an image. And once you're using the image, there are a variety of ways how you can actually use it. Uh, I'm gonna use it just for the string version of it because system is already aware that I have some assets. So for that, I'm gonna just simply say ice-t and image should be able to pop up. Uh, not right now, I have to mention some of the more properties as well. One of the property is gonna be resizable. There we go, so that it automatically shrinks based on the size of the devices. And I'm going to also mention the aspect ratio of that, that what you are looking up for. And for that, we are looking for the content mode. As soon as you put a dot, you're gonna see a variety of options. Not variety, actually just fit and fill. I'm gonna go for the fill as of now. And then I have to define the most important, which is gonna be frame. And this frame is like defining what is going to be the width and height of the image. So I'm gonna first define the width, and there we go. For the width, I'm gonna choose 150, and for the height, 
There we go. We are going to choose 150. Surely you can move it to anything else if you would like to. And uh, let's just resume this. Hopefully things are going to appear. Okay. And it should be fairly fast. There we go. So I stay is coming up here. We are going to definitely arrange that. So first and foremost, we are going to make it a uh, dot clipped so that all the things which are going outside of this frame actually get clipped up. And this is nice. And we are also going to have a padding on this. Okay, and we are going to notice that some of the things are not working nicely. So we need to fix that as well. And for the padding again, I'm going to use a dot bottom dot bottom and we are going to use a 75 for that. Okay, now let me show you what is going on wrong. So as of now, you can see that this image is actually overlapping the welcome. So definitely Z stack is not working fine. So before we fix that up, I would like to just uh, first and foremost, it's not well indented. So I'm gonna this is nice. And this is now nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here, I will extract that as a sub view again. So show code actions, and I want to just extract it in a sub view. And I'm going to call this one as uh, image loader, or whatever you like to have. Okay, but the issue remains still, which is that I'm having just the Z stack. And that's why they are overlapping each other. So one of the easy way is to just select all of them, right click and again, show code action. And I want to wrap them around in a vertical stack. Of course, that makes sense in this case. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Oops, uh, looks like my image loader is move, moved ahead outside. So I'm going to just cut that and we'll move just below the image loader. And we are going to hit the resume and hopefully, hopefully things are going to make sense now. Come on, build that. And there we go. So things are making sense now. Welcome is at the top. The ICT logo is up here. Okay, nice and easy. But you might be asking, why do we have this Z stack up here? Now Z stack is for those cases where we want to do something drastic and different. For example, I can just choose a color dot black. Oops, if I can write black properly, I can choose a color dot black and notice immediately we have turned this app into kind of a night mode, not exactly, but kind of. But uh, these might be bothering you that why is it not going all the way top and bottom? These are the safe areas, usually default in default case, your app is going to respect that. But in case you don't want to do that, you can just simply go ahead and apply a property here that says uh, dot edge ignore something uh, edge ignore safe area. So there we go. And we're going to say dot all you can just mention top or bottom as well. And now you have got app which is totally uh, just outside of that. So there we go. Nice and easy. Now this is looking absolutely good. But again, I'm going to leave that as a simple comment because I want to go for a plain uh, whitish look for this one. This is going to look absolutely good on the simulator. So there we go. We have learned about the text and some of the image loading property as well as converting that into the night mode as well, almost. And we're going to, we are going to have a lot more fun here. Next, we need to have inputs as well, but we're going to do that in the next video.